this is gonna be top-notch awesome. Leonardo AI, yet again, releases another amazing update. This is incredible. And this one may have gone unnoticed, but it shouldn't stay that way, because this update is one of those updates that just seem too good to be true. So in today's videos, these updates take place in another recent Leonardo AI update, and that is Leonardo AI Phoenix, and probably Leonardo AI's best update to date. If you're unfamiliar with what Phoenix is, make sure you definitely watch these videos right here, because Phoenix takes things to a whole new level. It's the ability to generate accurate text and words within your images. But for today, we're looking at not one, but two amazing updates and new features released directly within Phoenix itself. And these, quite frankly, are incredible. The first is called Prompt Enhance. And now the second one is actually my favorite update. It's called Edit with AI, and it's a powerful one. So here we are in Leonardo AI, and this is important to remember. Now, these features are only available in the new update. Update Phoenix. And this is exactly where you can actually find Phoenix. So on the homepage, let's go to image generation. Now, once you're in image generation, this is where you'll find it up here in the top left hand corner underneath preset, click preset, and then make sure you have Phoenix selected. And when it comes to prompts, I actually have a very important update to share one that has actually been highly requested. Check the links in the description. And so if you don't have access to what I'm about to show you, make sure to check the links in the description because there'll be links in there. That way you can get Get access, but I now have both of my mega prompts databases, like the ones that you see right here on your screen, that has every single prompt imaginable for every single category. But now I also added these same databases in Notion. And so every single prompt that I have in these mega Airtable databases, I now have all of these prompts over here in Notion. So now every time I add a prompt in one of these Airtable databases, like the two that you see on your screen that I'm going back and forth, they will also now go directly into these Notion databases databases as well, in which you'll have lifetime access with new prompts added every day or every week. And I just want to clarify, make sure you do stick around because these capabilities are going to be amazing. So the first update I want to talk about, it's called Prompt Enhance. And again, this is only located in Phoenix. So over here in Leonardo AI, make sure you have Leonardo Phoenix populated to be your preset. Now, directly below this, you're going to have the option that's called Prompt Enhance. If I select it, notice this, we have two options, automatic or off. I highly suggest leaving it on automatic because it's going to take your simple and basic prompt and really make it a very good one. So let me give you a quick example, okay? I have it on automatic, and now what I'm going to do is simply just paste in my very simple prompt right here, okay? A basketball sitting on a table. Now watch this. It's going to generate my image specifically based off of my prompt, but notice this. As it's thinking, look at the actual prompt that Leonardo AI just created for me. So it took a basketball sitting on the table, and here is the prompt populated. It's a big paragraph, a vibrant, hyper-realistic depiction of a basketball sitting on a polished dark wood table. And then just like that, look at the images that we get. These did a fantastic job generating these images for us. Now, that's going to be called Prompt Enhance. Very good. But now this next part and this new update is really what takes things to a whole nother level. I'm going to show you a series of amazing things that you can do with Edit AI. And I think you're going to be blown away by what Leonardo AI can now do. All right, so here I am back with my image and here's the ones with the basketball. So for an example, this is what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna utilize what's called edit with AI. So notice this, I wanna give you an example. First, do you see these images of this woman right here with the smoke surrounding her? I want you to notice the most important part of this. Above this basketball right here, we're gonna have this little icon of this gradient purple and blue pencil. We have it on this first row. However, we don't have it on this second row. That's because it's only available in Leonardo AI Phoenix. But watch this. Now, let's say we like these images of this basketball. Select this little pencil icon. This is where you can make some magic happen and actually edit your images. I just said make the ball blue. Okay, let's go ahead and then generate this. And then instantly, based off of any new instruction you enter in that edit with AI prompt box, it's going to do exactly what you want it to do. And now look at that. Look how amazing this looks. It did exactly what I wanted. Let me click and open this up. Look at that. Now my basketball is blue. Fantastic job. So notice this. It might change it up a little bit. You can notice the two images on the right. They're very similar, but just a little bit different. But now let's just take things even further than this. Now, same thing. We're going to select this pencil button, and
And now we're going to say something else. I now said, add a green frog sitting on top of the basketball. Let's now select generate here. Oh man, amazing. And now look at these. Look at these images right here. It got two out of the three perfectly right. Look at this middle one right here. It's exactly what I wanted. A green frog sitting on top of a basketball. I mean, this did an amazing job. The realism is fantastic. Even this first one, it's not on the ball, but I think this is a very awesome and funny looking image. Great job. Okay, one more time. Let's take it to one more level. So I said, add a basketball player behind the ball. Now let's generate this one. While we're waiting on this, the next thing I'm going to show you after this is what really blew me away. We're going to really take things up a notch to the next level and now start to incorporate some text within our images. This is the one I'm most excited about. But first, let's go back to Leonardo AI and see how good of a job it did with this most recent command. Okay, and now there you have it. Look at these three images right here. Amazing. I have three images and it's maintained everything perfectly. I have the basketball, which I changed the color to blue. We have the frog on top of it. And now we have the basketball player behind the basketball, the third command that we gave it. This did a phenomenal job, okay? But now let's really turn the heat up and really put this new feature to the test. Okay, so I'm back over here in Leonardo AI. And here's what we're gonna put. A photo of a glass of orange juice for an orange juice commercial with the text fresh juice. So now we're gonna do exactly that, okay? We're gonna say with the text fresh juice. And right now I have my preset style on dynamic. Let's leave it here and let this generate. But now I also wanna make another one in cinematic, okay? So I'll do two at the same time just to see the different options. And while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and then throw in the third. I'll use my vibrant one for my third one and now select generate here. Now we have three rows going. And now just to see more of an option, I'm gonna do one more for dynamic one more time. But this time I'm gonna select quality instead of fast. But so far, look at what we got. These are incredible. Okay, so here's the first one with dynamic. Everything looks beautiful. The text is amazing. And even the glass and the text is extremely accurate. Now look, the orange juice is good. The text is accurate, except for once misspelling in the small text, but that's no big deal. So let's look at all of our options here. Fresh juice is the main one I'm concerned about. Look at this right here. I love the way this looks. I couldn't be happier. Let's scroll up. This looks very good. And again, the changes are going to be completely different based off of your preset. So cinematic, dynamic, vibrant, 3D render will all have different characteristics and look and feels. And now last but not least, this is going to be my favorite one. Now this top row I think is amazing. It's dynamic, but this time notice my generation mode, I put it on quality. And now these images really are very quality. Let's go ahead and expand these and look at all three of these. I couldn't have asked for any better images. In fact, the creativity level, I love that and I love the actual font. Now, like I said, we're not going to end here. We're going to take things a step higher even more. Okay, so I like this first image. Let's scroll down to another one instead. Let's go to this row right here. And now I want to change something up a little bit. I'm going to select this button right here and I'm going to edit it. And what I said is make the kitchen more modern. Let's hit generate on here. Okay, so this row I want more modern but then let's also come to this row and do a little bit of the opposite where I'll say make the kitchen more uh, warm cozy environment okay there we go I'll hit generate on this one and in the meantime, it looks like this one is already done. Perfect. Now remember, on this one, I chose this image right here to transform into a more modern kitchen. And these are the results that I got. This looks fantastic. I like this one. This one needs a little bit of work, but that's okay. But this one really did an amazing job. The orange juice, the text is accurate, and it's definitely a modern kitchen. Look at that view in the background. It has the ocean in the background. I couldn't ask for a better result. Okay, let's look at this last row. It's still generating, but while we're doing this, we're going to come back and look at this image. And let me tell you, this image did a great job. But now, yet again, let's take things up a higher notch one more time. And so specifically, I want to focus more now on changing the font up a little bit. But before we do that, let's scroll up and look at the results that we just got on this one right here. Now look at this. Now, I took this image right here of a more modern kitchen and I did the opposite where I said, now make the kitchen more warm and cozy. And then there we have it. Amazing. Look at this. This did a great job. This is exactly what I was looking for. Text is amazing. It's a more warm and cozy environment. And then look at the glimmer and the light surrounding the rim of the glass. I mean, the details are fantastic. Even this one here, the shadows and the lighting, amazing job. Okay. But now, like I said, let's take things up a step further and focus specifically on the text. So let's go ahead and then choose one. Let's select this row right here. I like this one a lot. And I'm going to hit this pencil one more time and check this out. Now I put in this specific prompt, make the font more bold with an orange outline 
on the white letters. Okay, well, I don't have white letters, so let's change this up a little bit. But first, before we change it up, let me just go ahead and see what this turns out to be, okay? I'll do this one right here, but now what I'll also do is I'll take this row right here and then do the same thing. Let's do a few different examples just to see some different results. Okay, and then again, I'll do this row one more time. And right here, what I'll say is make the font more modern and uh, dynamic. And this time I'll say with uh, a white outline on the orange letters. Okay, so a little bit of a different look and feel. Let's generate this one and we're gonna have multiple rows. Let's first start with the first one. And right off the bat, this image right here, incredible. Look at this, fresh juice. This is the one where I said, change up the lettering and look how amazing this looks. I mean, this is fantastic. And the reason I love this is for one specific reason. I can actually remove the, the background on this image perfectly because it's that nice, just plain gray background. This will look fantastic. Okay, let's scroll up and then look at this row right here. The results we have are exactly what I was wanting. And look, again, this did a fantastic job. The creativity is on a whole nother level. And then last but not least, one of my favorites is gonna be this image right here. Looking at this glass of orange juice just makes me wanna have some myself. I'll scroll through this one. This is gonna be top notch awesome, okay? I think my favorite are gonna be overall this one here, but probably this one overall, because remember, it did everything I specifically asked it to do. I said, make the font more modern and dynamic, orange letters, but with the orange letters, create a white border or a white outline. It couldn't get any better than this. And again, the image is beautiful. If I upscale it even more, it's gonna look even more amazing. But before we wrap it up, I just wanna show you one more thing to really display the amazingness and the amazing prompt adherence that Phoenix has. So we're gonna come back over here one last time, remove this prompt altogether, and I wanna put in a very specific prompt. Okay, so here is the prompt I'm gonna put in. A cartoon of a programmer sitting in front of a computer saying in a speech bubble, I can't believe how awesome this is. I just wanna demonstrate how accurate it can get full sentence sentences of text, and it can even create speech bubbles, which will be perfect for creating comic books or storybooks, which I know has been a very high request from a lot of people. So now that we have that, since I'm doing a cartoon, let's try it in one of two ways. I'll leave it on dynamic on the left-hand side, generate this. But I also wanna change my preset style, and I'll do one for 3D render, and then I'm gonna do one more, and I will do an illustration. We'll have three that it can work with. Once these three rows are done being generated, Let's see how good of a job it did. We're really putting it to the test with a total of nine images to see how accurate it can get the speech bubble. Okay, amazing. Look at this. Here is the first set. I can't believe how awesome this is. Beautiful. This one is accurate and this one is accurate. Fantastic. 100%. Let's now go to the second row and then take a look at these. Okay, I can't believe how all I can't believe how this is awesome. Okay, got the wording a little bit backwards. I can't believe how awesome this is. That's accurate and this is accurate. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's go to the last row. Last but not least, this is going to be illustration. This is beautiful. This is awesome. And this is accurate. Amazing. So eight out of the nine images got the text 100% accurate. That's not bad at all. One last time, you can look at these rows right here. Again, it did a fantastic job and I couldn't be happier with this update. So there you have it, another amazing release from Leonardo AI. And the gifts and presents just keep coming. I can't stop imagining and wondering what the next thing is they're gonna release. So if you don't have the paid plan to Leonardo AI, there's a link in my description. Make sure you definitely try it out. But thank you so much for watching this video and let me know what some of the creations you were able to make. And then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.